Glory to the King of Kings, the Creator of heaven and earth, the most gracious and merciful God, God who keeps mercy to those who love Him even for a thousand years, and by no means visits the iniquity of fathers upon children, children after third and fourth generation of those who hate Him. Thank you for this even new day. And uh, people, my message of this day. It uh, comes from the book of St. Luke, chapter 13, verse 1 to verse uh, 5. Oh my God. Heavy message. The message is simple. Unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. There are some group of people from Galilee who are telling our Lord Jesus Christ that there are some people whose sacrifices did mingle with Pilate's blood and uh, they died. And also, the Lord tells us there were 18 people at the wall of Siloam where did fall on them on Jerusalem and these people died. And um, this scripture is simply telling us that if you want to repent you will die in your sins because of your sins and um, today you'll hear wars in various parts of the world and wonder why these people don't they agree that people are being killed people are dying you'll hear earthquakes calamities even this coronavirus you can see people are dying and others are still there surviving the scripture tells us simply, unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. Oh God, Jesus, give us knowledge. Give us knowledge of your word, of these things. And then, um, people of today, they won't believe this kind of scripture. Where, we, where it, is, it, it is said that you should be righteous. You should observe laws of Jesus. Nobody will save you. This is the physicians, the agar doctors, agar room. No, it's only repentance. Repent your sins and you shall live in this world in peace and the prosperity. And then um, the word of God, of God, the word of the Lord, no joke, no joke, unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. Look, send it, Luke chapter 13, verse 1 to 5. People keep committing little things, they keep sinning, they keep doing things which are not allowed. They keep, they keep you, you know what? thinking that they are safe. I tell you, you'll hear earthquakes, as killed people. You'll hear floods, killing people. River banks breaking themselves, houses falling on people. Then you say, how unlucky these people are. That scripture tells you, unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. Please, people, observe the word of God. Keep on repentance, and this is the way to eternal life. And do not be deceived that this was bad luck, this, uh, it, it affected so and so. This scripture tells you, if you won't repent, then be prepared to die, and you shall perish quickly. All these calamities you see, carrying people, people suffering, coronavirus, see, it's everywhere. It is because these people of this world, when they are told to repent, they say, what have we done? Nothing. Why God has taken his face from us? It's because we don't follow his laws, his commandments. We do things of traditional men. And the scriptures, they won't lie. They are evil, green, righteous. Repent your sins, or you shall likewise perish. You'll hear planes burst in flames. Maybe planes taking off, crashing. Calamity after calamities. Go to hospital, see people are plagued. 
with various kind of uh, incurable diseases. It is because people won't repent. You'll hear gangs of people attacking. Then you'll say, why don't they sit and agree? Countries be overthrown. You, you'll hear heads of state, maybe. They have been assassinated. Some, some things which you didn't expect. The scripture is simple. In St. Luke chapter 13, 1 to 5, all these misfortunes, they come because people don't want to repent. Repent your sins, or you shall likewise perish. Oh, people of the Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Christians, oh, Lord, people who fear your word, bless them wherever they are in this world. Give them peace.